Cyclonic filtration is a modern vacuuming miracle. By spinning the dust out of the air, just like water from clothes in a washer, you leave much less dust to clog the filter, so suction remains stronger for longer. A few years ago, Dyson unveiled an update to their cyclonic filtration called Kinetic. Essentially, they found that by making the cones very narrow, the centrifugal forces applied to small particles can be increased, meaning even smaller dust can be extracted cyclonically. To stop them blocking up, the rubber tips were engineered to vibrate from the air spinning in there, which shook free any blockages. They were so effective that they removed the smaller particles that the normal cyclones couldn't, that relied on a premotor filter to remove. So kinetic cyclones meant they could do away with the premotor filter entirely, which just causes air resistance and reduces efficiency. The technology was so successful and brilliant that it eliminated all user filter maintenance. All you needed to do was just empty the bin. Technology this good thus automatically experienced very high levels of propaganda, and none of which was ever convincingly evidenced. The myths were further fueled by the lack of kinetic cyclones in the modern cordless machines. In this video, I decided to look qualitatively at the cyclonic filtration of three different Dyson machines to try and understand how good kinetic filtration really is, and why it might not be on the latest handheld cleaners. I decided to suck up a lot of flour using these three Dyson machines. The V11 and Upright have standard Dyson cyclones, and the cylinder has the kinetic cyclones. This flour is extremely fine, much smaller than most household dust, and is being picked up in far larger quantities than normal vacuuming collects. First, I tried the V11 in auto suction mode. I sucked up two full bin loads, which is the equivalent of many months worth of the smallest particles found in normal household dust in just a few seconds. The filter, unsurprisingly, did end up with months worth of dust on it, and about five grams of flour was added to its weight. Then I tried the upright, with its non-kinetic, standard cyclones. Again, I sucked up two bin loads of flour, and the bin size is much larger. This probably represents over a year of the equivalent ultra-fine dust component from normal household dust. The filters, surprisingly, only gained about a quarter of a gram, which is much less than the V11, and you can see some of the flour on the filter. I went back to the V11 and repeated this test in max mode, which produces mains-like performance. This time the filtration was improved, and after two full bin loads of flour, very little escaped the cyclones. And only 0 0.08 of a gram was added to the filter. Finally, I tried the kinetic cylinder cleaner. Again, I sucked up two entire large bin loads of this fine dust, an equivalent to probably over a year of normal use. Furthermore, I did this whilst the machine was upside down for the second bin load, to test the myth that the kinetic tips only work when pointing down. This machine never needs filter maintenance, and so the filters are buried deep in the machine and not easily user serviceable. You can still get to them though without too much hassle. There are two Torx screws at the top, and two under the snout. Take out the single screw holding each of the wheels. This reveals four more screws on each side. When they're off, you can lift off the cover. Make sure you lift and hold a clip at the top first, and then take it off along with its spring to avoid it falling. The cover is attached with a wire, so be careful and gentle with it. Then you can see the big HEPA filter. There are several press clips around it, so press each one and ease that side out. The air first passes through the felt before heading through to the finer HEPA part at the back. You can see that the filter doesn't even have the tiniest trace of flour on it, and there's only a bit of carbon dust from the heavy old-fashioned conventional motor. Despite the equivalent of years of ultrafine dust from the flour that was sent through, the kinetic cyclones didn't let anything significant through. A lot of this performance is also aided by the bin design, which also keeps most of even the fine dust away from the cyclones, which you can learn more about in the review of this machine in the description link. The metal shroud didn't have any visible flour on it, and very little flour came out of the cyclone discharge chamber when emptied, showing how effective the bin design is. So what can we learn from this? Firstly, it shows that all the propaganda is false. 
Kinetic cyclones really work, even upside down, dispelling that myth. It's apparent from basic fluid dynamics they would work upside down, because gravity doesn't play a significant role inside a cyclone. It also debunks the old propaganda myths. Kinetic cyclones do work on machines with less than 900 watt motors, as now required by the EU energy caps. This motor is only 700 watts. Kinetic filtration also hasn't been phased out. This kinetic cylinder is still manufactured and sold as of recording in early 2021 in France, where the cylinder form factor is actually popular. Some claimed, without evidence, that kinetic cyclones just didn't work. All that was shown to support this myth was a tiny handful of neglected and abused machines. This test clearly shows this technology works stunningly well, and you genuinely don't need a pre-motor filter, even for safety. All it does is add avoidable air resistance. It's the best filtration I've ever seen, and I genuinely believe that the filters would never clog up in the 10-year lifetime of the product, as long as it's not abused. The filters are easy to maintain, even if abuse has occurred, as I'll show in a future video. The kinetic tips on the 700 watt cylinder work better than the non-kinetic tips of the 700 watt upright, given that there was some dust on the upright's filter. So why aren't kinetic cyclones used in the modern cordless cleaners? The performance difference in filtration between the V11 in auto mode and the upright was significant. It's known from textbook fluid dynamics that the cyclonic efficiency is related to the volumetric flow rate of the fluid passing through. The total airflow exhausted by the V11 on auto mode is much lower than the mains upright, affecting filtration performance. By increasing volumetric airflow through the cyclones in max mode, filtration performance was hugely increased. This is the likely reason why kinetic cyclones are not used. A greater volumetric flow might be needed. I suspect that kinetic cyclones won't appear on cordless cleaners until battery and power dense motor technology allows the same volumetric flow rate found on the mains cleaners. Just to be clear, the testing shown here does not suggest that the V11 cyclones don't filter well or work effectively, just because it seems to qualitatively perform less well than a mains machine. Under normal, real-world representative conditions with natural household dust, I've already shown in the video in the description that the V11 filters accumulate very little, despite weeks of sucking up bin load after bin load of even the ultra-fine stuff in auto mode, and still didn't need rinsing. And I've shown repeatedly that despite its much lower power consumption, its performance not only exceeds competitor cordless cleaners, but is right up there with these same Dyson mains cleaners used here, as you can see in the review video. The Dyson cordless cyclonic filtration is wholly adequate for real world situations, as evidence shows. But to be able to use kinetic cyclones and achieve the stunning filtration levels found on mains cleaners, I suspect even more power is required to achieve higher volumetric flow rates. And I suspect Dyson know this, are maturing the core technology, and are heading in that direction longer term. Using max mode all the time and getting decent run times requires a much larger battery capacity, and that will be too big and heavy to be practical with today's technology. Future battery technology being developed will have about 2-4 to four times the energy density in the first generation, and thus will have 2-4 to four times the capacity for the same size and weight. When mains level volumetric flows through the cyclones can be sustained all the time by having only max mode, kinetic technology might make a return. One final thing to note is that when sucking up absurd amounts of flour, some can compactify on the shroud. Even the self-cleaning shroud scraper doesn't clean it off. If the pores ever become blocked on your machine like this, it's easy to fix. Just get the brush tool and gently stab and wiggle the tips in the holes to unblock. When you close the bin lid and next turn it on, all the dust behind the shroud is dragged to the cyclones and ends up in the cyclone discharge chamber of the bin ready for next emptying. I hope you found this myth busting video interesting and thanks for watching.